to summarize is curve represents the interest rate or output combinations where there is products or services equilibrium that is aggregate demand is equal to aggregate output similarly lm curve represents the interest rate or output combinations where there is money market equilibrium that is the money supply is equal to the money demand for the given interest rate or income combination here an important note now where these two curves meet we have a situation where the products or services market and the money market are both in equilibrium at this point aggregate output equals aggregate demand that is is and the quantity of money demanded equals the quantity of money supplied that is lm at any other point in the diagram at least one of these equilibrium conditions is not satisfied and market forces move the economy towards the general equilibrium point e to learn how this works let's consider what happens if the economy is at point a which is on the is curve but not the lm curve even though at point a the goods market is in equilibrium so that aggregate output equals aggregate demand the interest rate is above its equilibrium level so the demand for money is less than the supply because people have more money than they want to hold they will try to get rid of it by buying bonds the resulting rise in bond prices causes a fall in interest rates which in turn causes both planned investment spending and net exports to rise and thus aggregate output rises the economy then moves down along the is curve and the process continues until the interest rate falls to i and aggregate output rises to y that is until the economy is at equilibrium point e if the economy is on the lm curve but off the is curve at point b it will also head towards the equilibrium at point e at point b even though money demand equals money supply output is higher than the equilibrium level and exceeds aggregate demand firms are unable to sell all their output and unplanned inventory accumulates prompting them to cut production and lower output the decline in output means that the demand for money will fall lowering interest rates the economy then moves down along the lm curve until it reaches equilibrium point e